people that don't know nothing about the change. But when you find people that have been around the change, they can come to the place of an agreement. And when they come to a place of agreement, when two or three can come together and say, I believe for pastor that every situation will be fixed. I believe in his life that every situation that the enemy has tried to make a mountain becomes a flat plane. I believe for pastor's sake that everything that the enemy is trying to do, it shall not stand and it shall not come to pass. Because guess what? When your leader go up, you go up. When your leader prosper, you prosper. When your leader is healed, you're healed. When your leader is delivered, you're delivered. In other words, Lord, change our language. Woo! Change. Change it. We got things to do. We got place to go. We got people to see. We got lives to affect. And we can't stay with the same language. Oh, now it was nice. And everything we did, it was good. But I come to find that God has better. But we got to change our language. When you come to ask God for healing, and you come to this line for healing, when you go back, your language should be changed. What am I talking about? You may have had this before, but I'm healed now. Yeah. Yes. Did you hear what I said? I may have had, but I don't have anymore. Uh, and that's where my language changed. You know how your language changed? When your mind changed. Yeah. When your heart changed. But you have to be around people of change to change. Yes, yes, yes. God didn't bring you to this ministry. Jesus. Just to waste time. Yes. When I heard about how God is filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. And God is moving. Yes. Now to tell you that God didn't bring you here just for no joke. But he brought you here for a purpose. Yes. He brought you here because lives need to be affected. Yes. Yes. And you said, well, where are they? Where's the rain? Jesus. It's been so long. Yes. God said, I'm still working stuff out. Yes. Because the people that come in, you got to be ready to receive them. That's it. That's right. That's Did you hear what I said? You have to be ready to receive them. Yes. I've seen too many people going to the church. They go for healing, but because the church wasn't healed, they went out even worse. But I'm asking God to change the language. Change our language. Not to confuse us, but to unify us. God, change us. Some of our language since we've been saved has changed. But it's been changed for the worse. Because where God seems to fail. But the Bible says there is no failure in us. Because things didn't work out the way we wanted to. So God, you must not be real, but he's yet the Alpha and Omega. He, he, he's yet the same God that when you first got saved, he's that God. But things didn't go the way you thought that it should. But God said, trust me and try me again. Okay, so what it didn't work? How many times have we got that testimony that we thought things were going to happen one way and they were a whole nother? That don't make God no less real. It just means God got a plan for us that we don't understand. This thing that have happened in my life, I'm still sitting and wondering, God, why did you allow me to go through that? But you know, as I look on hindsight, I realize now, you know what? I'm glad that I went through what I went through yes. because it made me who I am. Yes. I don't want to be no jelly that preacher. Yes. 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 I don't want to be one that conform here and conform there. Yes. But if you see me standing here today, when you see me outside, you ought to see the same person. Right. When we see you in church, you should be the same person in a grocery store. It shouldn't be no change. It shouldn't be no difference. I should not have to worry, Lord Jesus, when did it happen? But I want to be the same person. When they met me, when they first started vision, they should still see the same or even better now. That's where I'm at. And that's why I pray that you be. That God will change your language. That you begin to understand that God has a purpose for you. That you may not understand, you may not even like it at this point. But you know what? God has a purpose. You can't run from purpose. You can't run from purpose because purpose will jump on your back. And it will ride you. And it will ride you until either you turn around and say yes or it kills you. I'm not running for my purpose no longer. I'm going to live. I said, I'm going to live. Now you may want to die, but I'm going to live. Even though things seem bad, I'm going to live. Yes. Even though the doors may be closed in life, I'm going to live. Because I believe that the same God that did it for Peter back then, on his own accord, can do.